Hi guys, um, this video is to accompany your 3.1 vocabulary. Um, I'm going to do just a couple examples and highlight um, kind of the key word in this section. Um, so we are really focusing on this word transversal, um, and we're going to use it a lot in our next few sections as well. Um, so what a transversal is, is a line that's intersecting two other lines at two different points. So in this picture I've got two lines. This one is the transversal because it's intersecting those two at two different points. Um, and so in these examples here, they're asking me to identify the transversal for the angle pairs. So what that means is I want to know what line are these two angles on or next to. So if I look at angle 1 and angle 5, what the line that they are both on, so you'll notice angle 5 is on this line and angle 1, so they share this guy. This is the transversal. The reason is, here's my two other lines, L and M. N is intersecting them at one, two different points. So N is the transversal that goes with this pair of angles. And let me erase these and start over here. So now I've got three and six. So again, the line that they are both on is M. This is a transversal because it's crossing two other lines in those two different points. So three and six are on the M transversal. And one and four, right here, one and four, they're sharing this line, L, and this is the two lines that L is crossing, so that is the transversal for angle one and angle four. Okay, so pretty simple just looking for which line they share. I'm going to move to the next page and do a couple examples here. What's really important in this section is the vocabulary. We're going to be using these a lot as well. Um, so corresponding angles. So this is when I have this transversal situation. So I've got two lines, R and S, and they're being cut by this transversal, so T. Corresponding angles are on the same side of the transversal, and they're on the same... Uh, side of the other two lines. So you notice they're both on top of the lines in this case. So one and five are called corresponding angles. Um, the other kind is alternate interior. This one's kind of easier to tell from the name. So alternate means either side. So alternate of the transversal. So here's my transversal again. Three and six are on opposite sides. So that's what the alternate stands for. Interior means it's in between my two lines. So here's that in between. So three and six are alternate interior because they're either side of the transversal and they're in between R and S. Similarly, we have alternate exterior, which is super similar. They're opposite sides of the transversal, but they're outside or exterior of R and S. So one and eight are an example of those. Same side interior, this one's easy to tell from the name as well. They're the same side of the transversal and they're in between or interior of my other two lines. So three and five are an example of that. So angle three and angle five are same side interior. Okay, so we are going to look at some different angle pairs and decide which one of these four options they are. Okay, so angle one and angle five. So then looking at these two, angle one and angle five, those are on the same side of the transversal. So anytime it's on the same side, it's gonna either be same side interior or corresponding. Those are my two options. So same side interior, well one and five are not both interior, they're not both inside the other two lines. They're both on the left side of the lines or below the line. So these are actually corresponding. Okay, one and seven. So here's my transversal. They're on opposite sides, so that means it's gonna be one of my alternate ones. So I just need to decide, are they in between my other two lines or outside? And it looks like one and seven are outside, so they're the alternate exterior. Okay, get you guys a better look at that. So one and seven are outside this line and this line. I might name those so I can refer to them a little better. We'll use T again for transversal and R and S since we used those before. So it's opposite sides of T and outside of R and outside of S. So they are alternate exterior. Okay, next pair we're looking at is three and six. 
So compare them to the transversal first. They're on the same side. So if I look at my options, these are the same side options. And they are both inside of RNS. So that makes them same side interior. Two and six. So compare them to the transversal. They're on opposite sides and they're in between my parallel line. So opposite sides, alternate, and in between means interior. So alternate interior for three and six. Two and four. Now these are actually referring to some of our old vocabulary words, two and four. So here I've got that X situation where I've got two and four opposite of each other. Remember those are called vertical angles. Seven and eight, these are on a line together. They are called a linear pair. So these ones we will also still be seeing a lot of. Okay, so we've added four new ones, but don't forget about the ones that we already know about. All right, guys, hopefully that vocabulary will kind of help you with your 3.1 homework. Thanks for watching.